Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are going to be discussing the full moon in Gemini, and then transitioning into a tarot reading that will see how best to utilize this energy and any advice that the cards give us. Do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates. In the description box below, I will list all of the decks that I use in this video, and there is also a link tree that will provide you all of my social media links, as well as my Etsy shop, where I do private readings. All right. All right, so full moons, they are the end of the moon phase cycle. This is a time to release and let go of anything that's not serving our highest good or anything that's not working for us anymore. This is also a time to listen to our intuition and our emotions as they will be heightened at this time. So when you combine that with the sign of Gemini, which is a sign of communication, of thinking, and duality, because we are the twins, our card in the tarot is actually the uh, lover's card. Think about that energy when we go through this. Uh, so when you combine that with the full moon, this is the full moon that we release anything blocking our ability to speak, whether that is confidence block, whether that is uh, people that we find that don't want to listen to us regularly, that we need to have a conversation with, whatever that looks like to you, that's a time right now where we are releasing it. We are letting go with love and grace. It is important to speak our truth and it's important for us to stand up for ourselves. Boundaries has been a a theme that has been reoccurring lately with these collective readings. So this is a time where we're standing up for ourselves and we need to have the ability to do so. So Gemini energy is about letting that communication flow and speaking freely. But as we speak freely, we also need to remember there's another side of that coin, whereas we need to be mindful with how we do so because words have consequences because words are powerful. So how are we communicating our truth? How are we communicating our boundaries? That's something that we need to think about before we speak. So again, there's that caveat of thinking and communication of Gemini. So that could be how our, how is our body language looking? How's our tone of voice? Um, is it the right time to have this conversation? All of those things come into mind as we are needing to have that balance between actually speaking and listening. So being an active listener is going to be important to as a conversation has two sides, right? Genuinely, generally, as we do so, we also need to try to be mindful of how we're having this conversation because right now there could be a lot of confrontation if we do it in a hostile way, an angry way. We want to make sure we get our point across and that our truth is being listened to. So we want to make sure we do everything possible to have that effect be a positive one. This is also the time of year when it's always the hardest to kind of historically survive, right? So there's a lot of scarcity. We had to make a lot of sacrifices, all of that stuff. So it's typically called the cold moon because it happens during the winter month. And this is a time where we need to remember that we got this, that we can endure, as this card is saying, that we can face our past, we can face what's coming next, and we can move through it with integrity, with strength, and with a force powerful than we ever really thought we knew because we've got this. We've been proven time and time again that we've got this. This is also another time where we need to reach out to our friends and family that might be having a harder time than we do. So make sure that if they're struggling, that you got them, that they can trust you and they can lean on you. And as this is part of standing up for ourselves, we need to make sure that we're okay with asking for assistance should we need it too. If you have been trying to manifest something since the beginning of this cycle or set intentions in the new moon, we might be hearing back from that right now in the form of communication. So whether it is a email, a physical conversation you're having with somebody, a phone call, a text message, there's going to be some form of conversation around that. So for example, if you were waiting to hear back about a job interview or a promotion, there's a possibility that you're going to be having a a phone call or a conference meeting, that sort of a thing. Think about that type of energy. The answers you need are coming. And that involves everyone. So if there's any answers that you've been seeking, this might be the time where they're coming forward as well as a great time to meditate to 
think on those answers. If there's something that is not in the physical realm, if it's internal, do some meditative work tonight. Speaking of manifestation, if you are someone who likes to do this on the full moon instead of like a new moon or waning moon or anything like that, if this is your time where you like to do so, words are going to be very powerful right now. This is going to be a fantastic time for you to utilize more speaking it into existence, your affirmations, speaking them loud and clear throughout the day, as well as any form of writing. So think about poetry or intention settings um, or goal settings, writing them all down. If you do the 369 method, anything like that, today is the day to do so because it's going to be more potent. It's also a great time to be sociable. So if you are needing a kick and a boost from your friends to hang out, to enjoy life a little bit more, gab, gossip, whatever it might feel like for you, today is a great day for that as we are going to all want to be talking and having a good time, have a meal with somebody, enjoy a coffee break with somebody, enjoy speaking and getting to know somebody new as well. So embracing the flow of life with this card here, this is about just letting life flow. We have to release some control um, and let life happen for us and to us. So that way we can look at things in a different perspective and just breathe. Take time out today to meditate, to just be in flow with the day, to not have any expectations, to not have any hand in control and see what happens. All right, let's get in to the reading. All right, we are using the Zodiac Tarot for this reading. The first card is going to represent the energy of how best to utilize this full moon. And we have the Magician at that Gemini constellation there. Love it. And then this next card is the advice on how to move through all of it. And we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is interesting that it came out because uh, Mercury is the ruler of Gemini, which is also the ruler of this particular card. So I love that. We are speaking things into existence. We are creating, we are making it happen this full moon. That is how best to utilize this energy. Manifestation. This is the manifestation card. Knowing that we have what it takes to make that action happen, putting um, the inspired action behind the goals and the manifesting, right? So not just wishing for it, but putting the action behind it. I'm also getting speaking things into existence. So again, when we were talking about earlier, using our words for intent and using our words in a powerful way because we are more powerful than we may realize or we may think using our intelligence and our skills to make things happen for us however it resonates with you we are creating and we are speaking it into existence i also want to say speak our boundaries into existence right now that seems to be coming clear in a lot of these readings that we need to have more stronger boundaries and to stand up for ourselves in that time. So again, if you're having trouble with putting up boundaries and keeping those boundaries, now's the time to take that action and figure out exactly what's blocking that and putting forth the effort to continue to have those boundaries because boundaries are important. Boundaries are needed. So again, no is a complete sentence. You don't have to have an excuse after the word no. Okay. So I love this. Remember, uh, especially with a full moon, it's a great time to work with all of the elements as well as spirit to help you create the manifestation you want. So um, whether it is a practice or whether you just want to have a, a little bit of each element when you are um, creating. So if you have a, a workspace, having a feather, having a little cup of water, having a candle and having maybe a crystal that will invite the elements into your workspace and help you create a little bit more oomph in your action. All right. I love this. Use your um, communication for the good, for um, your boundaries, as well as speaking things into existence. I love this so much. But then we have the advice here with this Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is all about like focus and determination to get to that focus. So for instance, there's a goal you have, you see nothing but that goal, you do everything to get to that goal. But there needs to be a balance with this because 
whilst we do have goals that we want to accomplish, we also need to have a clear plan in place, a strategy, for example, that way we have, uh, we're not going to be overtaken by the uh, night energy of just moving toward that goal and not seeing anything else. <laughs> we need to be aware of our surroundings. We need to be aware of our emotions. We need to be aware of other people. And as long as we are being mindful of all of that, we can still have that focus and be driven to create, be driven to have our manifestations happen. But we need to do so by being in that balance. I, I hope that's making sense. We can be assertive. We can be... Um, goal getter, go getters. That's the word I'm looking for. But we also need to be mindful that like we shouldn't be stepping over other people in order to get to our goals, right? We need to be tactful. We need to be um, observant and we need to try to avoid confrontation because this night here can be very confrontational. So now is not the time to butt heads with anybody. Now is not the time to have any miscommunication. We're focused on communicating uh, in a effective way. So we can be assertive, but remember when we were talking about um, being mindful about that, uh, we can stand up for ourselves, but we need to be able to make sure that other people are listening. So be focused, be driven, but at the same time, make sure we're not stepping over people, make sure we're not, you know, uh, butting heads with anybody, make sure that we are doing this in a peaceful way <laughs> and being confident. So balance is going to be important here. Strategy planning is going to be important. So clarity, clarity with that sword energy. Nights can be very driven, but we need to have like a goal in place and a plan. Um, <laughs> this feels a little chaotic. I'm not going to lie. This energy feels like, okay, we're, we don't know what's going on. We don't know how to get there. We're just driven to get to the point. Um, you know what? It feels like we're so focused on making it happen. We're so wanting it to happen that we're not seeing everything else that is happening for us around us. Does that make sense? I feel like, you know, sometimes we can get so focused on what isn't happening. Like, why isn't this happening for me? Why hasn't this come through? Why am I not here yet? Why haven't I not reached my goal? That we're not seeing all of the little things around us that have actually been happening. They might just be in a different form of manifestation. So remember that too, as we go into this next cycle, that um, things, good things have happened. We just might not have realized that they were put in front of us to get to our final manifestation. Okay. So let's keep going and see what else we have in store here. We have first up the heavenly bodies here and we've got Aries. So independence, bravery, and passion. There's definitely a lot of passion here on the table. Um, this is fantastic if we were trying to manifest, but this is also that independence and bravery for speaking our truth, for standing up for ourselves, that sword energy here. Then we have the yang. I love it. Proactivity, expression, doing and forward motion, that inspired action here. And would you look at that? We also have Aries and Gemini on the board. Next, we've got house 10. So things involving structure, discipline, life mission, accomplishments, and career. So we might be um, having actions and speaking our truths in those areas, manifesting in those areas as well. Then we have Mars, another inspired action planet here, moving forward and defend self. So yeah, we've got a lot of boundary issues that we need to confront and in, in, in speaking our truth as well. And the last one, oh my gosh. So we have the yin and the yang that came through here, that duality of the twins. I love it. So this is trusting, intuition, patience, spirituality, and receptivity. So using the duality of the Gemini sign here, the yin and the yang. So again, remember that flow of life, that ebb and flow also to make sure that we have that balance intact. Okay, let's keep going. Next up, we have the Star Codes Astro Cards and we have series for nurture, self-care time, also nurture yourself. Again, boundaries are going to be important. Make sure you have those because that's another form of self-care. 
Then we have Pluto, rebirth, transformation. Again, end of cycles, coming into a new cycle. Again, speaking your truth. If this is something that's been hard for you before, this is going to be like that transformation of allowing yourself to feel like a stronger, more confident person, getting rid of those blockages, releasing that, anything of your ability to speak up for yourself. Then we have Gemini. I mean, that speaks for itself. <laughs> Cross-pollinate, being in that duality. And then we have sun connecting to source, taking action, love it. Then we have solar calm, clarify. So again, that knight of swords energy with clarifying exactly what we want, speaking things with clarity. I love it, love it, love it. Then we have 10th house authority. Again, boundaries, speaking your truth. These are all confirmations to that. Then we have opposition, so confrontation. We're going to try to avoid this at all costs. It might just happen anyway because of how the world works, how the universe works, okay? Being in balance in yourself doesn't necessarily mean the person that you're speaking up to and setting boundaries is in balance with their self. So there might be some confrontation there, especially when speaking your truth. There's always going to be some pushback, right? So uh, be aware that this could be something that happens. But again, when you're speaking up for yourself, when you're speaking your truth, when you're putting up boundaries, there's always going to be some form of confrontation. What is that called? The law of the universe? Next we have, again, balance. We've been speaking about that with that Libra. Okay, let's keep going. We have the queen of the moon here. And we have full moon power. Step into your power. Again, you're more powerful than you realize. Next, we have growth. I love this. This means we are expanding. We are growing into ourselves, into our power, sticking up for ourselves. This is also like looking back at how far we've come and seeing how much we have grown into ourselves. And our last card here is nourishment, self-care. Make sure we are taking care of ourselves, nourishing our bodies with positive things, with healthy things, good food, good self-talk, all of that. Okay, let's keep going. And we've got the uh, witch's anatomy and we have touch. Ooh, physical. Okay, I pulled out the card because this is interesting. Our sense of touch has a major impact on how we physically navigate through the world. If we push too hard and too fast, we can quickly become off balance. When we move from our core, our actions are more rooted and stable. Another aspect of touch is understanding consent and sovereignty. Preferences on how, where, when, why, and by whom someone is touched depend on the individual and are not universal. Always ask permission and never assume. Contact, advocate, interact. Love it. Oh my goodness. All right. Next up, we've got nourish. That's a theme too throughout this. Make sure we are nourishing our body with everything that will help us succeed. Okay. Make sure you're drinking the water. I see you. I know you haven't touched a water bottle in a hot minute. Get yourself some water. <laughs> and then we have love, which, okay, I love this imagery too, because it has that duality to it. Love yourself. Okay. Um, I feel like we have to say this through a lot of the uh, full moon readings. It's a lot of compassion for ourselves, loving ourselves, self-care, making time for ourselves is important. And it's such an act of love that we forget about it a lot of times because with our society and how we do our day-to-days, there's very little time for us to take that and set it aside for ourselves. So make sure you show yourself acts of kindness and love with nourishing yourselves with everything you need in order to feel good, happy, and healthy. Okay. All right. Next up, we have the herbal astrology cards. Is that what it's called? Yes, that's what it's called. First up, we have angels trumpet. So death. This is a new cycle, a new form of uh, transformation as well. This is going to be a huge thing if you speak it into existence and speak up for yourself. It's going to be a huge transformation. You're leaving the old you behind and picking up a wonderful, more growing, beautiful, vibrant virgin version of yourself. 
and we have Blue Lotus Intuition, listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition, connect with it more, utilize it more, um, build a connection with it, a relationship with it if you haven't done so already. Some of you um, might be just starting out learning how to listen to it, and that's phenomenal. Keep going with it. Full moons are great to tap into that. And your last card here for this set is Ginkgo Breakthrough. Do you see that sword? That's clarity, knowing that you're going to go through this and speak it into existence. I love this Gemini energy. So yeah, knowing that you are breaking through those blockages, breaking through the expectations of other people and setting your goals and setting your boundaries. This is fantastic. All right. And your last cards here are going to be the Earthly Souls and Spirits Moon Oracle. We've got uh, Divinity connecting to Source, connecting to your spirit guides, knowing that you yourself are a divine being. Then we have Prosperity. Manifest that stuff. <laughs> accept prosperity and prosperity comes just like abundance in different ways. So it could just be a phone call from a friend you haven't heard from in a long time. Um, or it could be a finding a finding a dollar bill on the sidewalk. Prosperity comes in multiple different forms. Being able to receive it is another thing though. So being open to receiving prosperity is going to be a great thing to focus on. Then we have nature, what we were talking about earlier, connect with nature, connect with the earth, fire, wind, and water. And earth, connect with the earth. Uh, crystals would be a great way to utilize the earth energy, as well as grounding, making sure you take time out to um, transmute the energy that is negative, or that if you feel a little off kilter, ground yourself um, into the earth. If that could be even as simple as uh, taking care of your potted indoor plants or s taking a walk in the park and breathing it in. Next, we have centered. Again, ground yourself, feel centered. Love, again, wow, that's coming up. Self-care, uh, spending time with your loved ones too. And your last card here is purposeful. Use this energy in a purposeful way. Oh my gosh, there was a lot here. Thank you for being here. I hope this resonated with you. I hope you have learned some things. If it did, please let me know down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful full moon. And if you guys have any plans on doing anything, please Share them down in the comment section below if you feel comfortable to do so. And with that being said, if you have not done so already, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. It really helps me out and it really will help you guys out too. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.